So today I am continuing on with the last clay video that I did. I said that I would probably paint her and I decided that I would because um, she just looks really weird unpainted and I feel like I could make it a little bit less creepy or maybe more creepy if I paint her. Stop that. So yesterday I applied a layer of gesso just to kind of prime her for acrylic paint and the ear fell off. So I had to glue that back on and I just peeled off a layer of paint, but that doesn't matter. The point is that I, the ear is back on. It looks a little bit janky, but that's life. So as usual, nothing's changed. I have no process for this. I'm just gonna start painting and see what happens. And I don't have a palette, so I'm gonna use this plastic thing that I found yesterday. So I'm going to put in some white. Too much. Color palette wise, I have a very vague idea of what I want to do. I think I want to have a, like a very light brown bonnet for her beautiful bonnet. So, <laughs> let's just get started, shall we? Um, I'm not really a painter, so my technique is non-existent. But when it comes to mixing colors, it's it's kind of weird because it's not something that I like actively think about. I'm just kind of mixing and just adding. I don't know how to explain it. I just... Now that I have this beautiful brown situation happening, um, and I'm just gonna look up some pictures so that I can get a good color because skin tone is quite hard to do. So I'm gonna base it off the model that I modeled the shape of the face on. Here she is. And she's white. She has like rosy cheeks, freckles, and, like tanned parts like on the high points of her face and some very, very subtle green and yellow undertones around her eye area. Very subtle, you can't say. It's pretty much all the same. Okay, so I've allowed for it to dry a little bit, and because I live in Australia, um, that was like five minutes, and <laughs> now it's good to go. But as, it, um, as it's dried, it's dried too dark as I thought it would. So I'm just gonna add some white to this flesh color that I already have. And I'm just gonna paint, paint on over there. It. Can you see it? I'm gonna see if I can just like dry brush it on. Nope, okay, we're just going right in there. And because it's skin, you know, it can be a little uneven. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, most skin is not perfect. Although I wish that mine was. I did a similar technique on her bonnet to make it look kind of furry, but now that it's dried, it just looks the same color, so I'm probably gonna have to go over it again. See, this is why I don't like acrylic paint, because you put it on one color, and then you come back five minutes later and it's 50 shades darker. 
I didn't mean to make that reference, it just came out of my mouth. I'm sorry, I have sinned. I've been doing the skin for a long time now, and because I don't know how to do skin on like a 3D surface, I just feel like I'm not getting anywhere and the paint is starting to peel off, so I'm gonna start adding final touches just to say, you know, it's done, even though I could potentially keep going forever. Um, but what I think I'm going to do, which I hope will look kind of cool, is splatter on some texture. It's like a burnt orange, burnt peach kind of deal. And I think I'm just going to see if I can... Girl in the picture has freckles, but I think I'm going to individually paint some of those on. Oh, that looks really bad. Whoops. Oh my god, that looks really cute. Okay, by the way, I'm using this uh, very festive napkin to erase all my mistakes. Now I'm going to paint on all those freckles. I'm going to need a really tiny brush for this. I've got a skewer. Here is my skewer. Okay, first I'm going to mix up freckle colour, which is basically brown, but it's more of a warm brown than what I have been using. I will use a brush to mix it because I'm not a heathen. I don't know if this is actually going to work. Might use the big end too, just to do some other ones. So I think that I have finished with the skin texture. Again, it's one of those things that I can just keep going forever, so I'm going to stop it. Um, this is what she's looking like so far. I might add some highlights and other things later. Um, but I like it, so I'm gonna paint on some eyebrows and then do her eyes. And then I think it'll just be final touches from there on out. I'm already very glad that I painted her. I think she looks a lot less creepy now. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so we've got this very light color here. So it's like a very, it's like a blonde eyebrow color. I'm just gonna see if I can like flatten out the brush to create hair-like strokes. Um, it could go terribly wrong. Okay, uh, not too bad. Okay, we're not gonna do that because that's not working at all. We're just gonna leave them because you know what? I like them. I think they're cute. Hello, children. So we're getting closer to finishing. The last thing I'm gonna do is the eyes and I've debated what color I wanted to do them for quite a while but I decided to do them blue, just like um, the girl that I'm basing it off. Um, so I'm just gonna add like an off-white color to make the whites of her eyes. If I added pure white, it would look really crazy and fake. So I'm gonna do like a creamy off-white. And then the blue color I'm gonna do is very like gray, dark gray blue. Like I don't want them to stand out too much. And then I was thinking I might try and add some like false eyelashes, but we'll see how I go with that. I do not have the brushes or the fine motor skills for this shit. And it's okay. I feel okay. Okay, now I got the yep. false eyelashes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use these. Okay, so here's what she's looking like before eyelashes. She's looking a little spooky, but it's okay. We're gonna make her beautiful. And then I have to clean up all of these like painty bits that I've missed. Girl, you're gonna be a star. Okay, so as you can see, I have this beautiful eyelash. Oh my God. So I'm gonna be attempting to make tiny little lashes out of it. Sleep, sleep, beach. I'm not going to show you a close-up of this because I'm just cutting false eyelashes. Like, I don't think there is much for me to say about it. I have enough trouble putting eyelashes on myself. How am I supposed to put them on a miniature lady? These eyelashes are ridiculous on this little lady, and I love it. I love it. I imagine this is what it feels like after you get eyelash extensions. Like, bam! <laughs> it looks so crazy. <laughs> Thank you to the people who suggested that I do this because it's already made such a massive difference. <laughs> she looks so cute, like in a crazy way. She's so pretty. 
Okay, I'm gonna do the final touches, just little paint touch-ups here and there, and then I will reveal her to you with her eyelashes. From close up, looks kind of crazy, but from afar, I think it looks really cute. But yeah, anyway, I'll be right back with the final reveal. <laughs> crazy eyelashes. Every time I look at this, the eyelashes just crack me up. I think I like it a lot more with the eyelashes. Like I think it just adds a bit of like, little something something, you know what I'm saying? I added a clear gloss varnish to her lips and a bit to her eyelids as well and her eyes. And then I sprayed the rest with a matte finishing spray. I think there's a lot to kind of learn from this. Like I think that I just did the eyes in a weird way. They're, I said in the last video, but they're a bit too small for the face. But I really do like this. I think it turned out exactly how I envisioned it. And I actually think it looks like the girl that I based it on, which I wasn't really trying to do. But I think that was just adding the coloring that was specific to her as well. So thanks for being a great model with lots of reference pictures. Makes my job easier. I hope you guys like this video. I'm still trying new art medium. So if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <gasps> Beach.